it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls and today I am so excited because I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel. I just got my very first Sephora play box in the mail and I am so excited because I have been on the wait list for so 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 long. I think the box, um, the subscription service is $10 a month. It started in September of last year and they only did a certain amount of states to kind of get the hang of it before they kind of opened it up to the rest of the country. So this to me was really interesting because it's Sephora. It's high end, you're getting nice brands and it's only $10 and even with shipping I think it comes out to like 10 something so it's super affordable and it's comparable to the subscription um, service that I get which is Ipsy which is $10 which is really random products from different companies that you might not have heard of but with this box it's definitely stuff from Sephora so I'm so excited we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and I think I'm going to do the same thing as I normally do in my Ipsy hauls or my Ipsy unboxings I'm going to review the month previous and then open the new box for the next month. But since this is my very first one, we're going to go ahead and just do this unboxing and test out some of the products. So if you want to see what's in my box, just stay tuned. Okay guys, so when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It just says Play by Sephora up top and then it comes with a little card which looks like this is going to be the theme of this month. It's called May 2016, The Forces of Nature. Stellar products are only the beginning. Bring this card in store for advice that's all about you with a free one-on-one -on -one tutorial. So that's cool. You can bring the card in and do like a little um, makeup session with the staff. And then when you look in the box, there is a little tote of goodies and this one says, Let's Beauty Together. And it's got little um, lips on there as well in different colors. Okay guys, so I'm assuming this is going to give us a little sneak peek and tell us about the products, but as we like to be um, surprised on this channel, I'm just going to go ahead and open this little cute bag and see what we have. So the first thing I see, it looks like a cologne sample and it's nicely packaged. This says Orange Sanguine Cologne, Atelier Cologne, Mason Day Parfume Paris. So I'm not familiar with this and I'm not sure if this is considered... Um, part of the, it's just a sample or if it's just um, part of like the products that you get. So it comes in this tiny, tiny little vial and then it gives you a beautiful little postcard which this looks very um, beachy and it looks to me Mediterranean so very, very cool. Oh my gosh, I really, really like it. It's um, supposedly a French perfume. And it smells like orange slices, like fresh orange slices. And I am super picky when it comes to cologne, so I'm actually like loving this. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm I'm really surprised I like it because I'm just I'm a weirdo when it comes to perfume and stuff. I really am just I have a sensitive nose and stuff gives me headaches sometimes. That's always why I've pref preferred like body sprays instead of cologne. But I actually really like it because it's not like super sweet. It's just a beautiful citrus. So if you like citrus, that is a nice one. Oh my gosh, guys. It is a bite lipstick, which again, these are super popular. Everybody talks about them on YouTube and they're at Sephora. This looks like a mini size and this one looks like it's in the shade kimchi. Isn't kimchi, um, isn't that like an Asian food? I can't remember exactly what it is, but it sounds like that. Okay. So it's so cute. Look how tiny and adorable this little bite lipstick is. And of course it does say the name on the bottom. I don't know if you can read that, but it is kimchi. Oh my gosh. It looks like a bright, bright matte pink. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is super bright. So let me give you a swatch. Wow. Super pigmented, super creamy. That is bright. Now, unfortunately, I feel like it's too bright for me like I just don't know if I would wear that color but I have to say like just for the first time I'm getting the subscription service bite I love the idea that we're getting a bite lipstick um, so even though that shade might be just a little bit out of my comfort zone it's still a really nice product and I love that they gave that to us so it's awesome okay next up ooh, it's a Tarte product and you guys I've been loving Tarte this one says um, Tartist lip I think this is a lip liner um, in the shade later gram so okay so here's what it looks like it's super tiny it looks like it's just a little baby size and I'm pretty sure this is a lip liner I'm assuming it's a lip liner 
So let's twist it up and I'll put it right next to, oh my gosh, how tiny is that? It's like a little itty bitty baby. Okay guys, so there it is. And it is, um, kind of leans a little like, I don't know, it's like a peachy brown, but you know guys, if it leans a little orange, I'm kind of like, ugh. But I don't know. I'm going to have to test that out. That's awesome though. I have never tried a Tarte lip liner. And so, I don't know, that might actually work for me. Um, we'll have to see. I just don't like anything that leans a little bit too orange when it comes to lips because, I don't know, it just doesn't look great on me. But, you know, Tarte, again, is a product line that I love. I love stuff from them. So really excited to kind of try that one out as well. Okay guys, next up I see a Kors product. This is called the Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial in the, I guess in the scent Rose Sauvage. And okay, let's see what it is exactly. Um, okay, it says it's for all skin types. Here's what it looks looks like. I've never seen this product. I've definitely heard of Kors before. I've never tried anything from their line. Um, it's got a little nice foil cap on it, so let me get that off and I'll put a little bit on just to show you the consistency. So it looks kind of like a lotion type consistency. It's white as you can see, so I'm just going to kind of blend that in. Oh my gosh, it has a gorgeous rose scent. That is like one of the most true beautiful rose scents that I've ever, ever smelled. Oh my gosh, I normally don't even like rose because I feel like most of them are just so fake. It feels so nice on the skin and it smells gorgeous. I'm excited. I'm, I wasn't really sure about this when I first saw it, but wow, that is really, really cool. You guys, so far, I am so pleased. I am so excited that I finally got off the wait list on this thing. Um, let me know if you guys have been waiting for it too, or if you guys got yours um, this month. I'm not sure if it's open. I want to say everybody has access to it now. Next product up, this is called Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. And you guys know, I want to say I got a Briogeo product in my Ipsy bag, and I don't think I actually liked it because I know thick, dry hair, and it did not work for me. Um, I don't think I've tried the deep conditioning mask, but it says it contains a unique blend of avocado, sweet almond, argan oils, hair essential vitamins B5, D, A, and E, and biotin to help repair damaged hair, enhance shine, and to reduce breakage by up to 81% after three uses. Well, that's really specific. <laughs> so again, let me just take a little, um, okay, so this is definitely creamy. I don't really sense too much of a smell there. Um, so. I don't know. I, I did not like the Briogeo product that I tried in my Ipsy bag, but I definitely will try this. Of course, for my hair, that would um, be good if it does work because my hair is very dry. It does need to be conditioned. Okay, guys, the last thing I see is from Origins, and this is the new Maskimizer Skin Optimizing Mask Primer. What the heck is a masked primer? You put it on before you do masks? That's kind of weird. So it opens up like this. And then it looks like it gives you, wow, you get a couple of things. So you get this little spray, which is the Maskimizer Primer. That's what it looks like in this little bottle. Then you get the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to clear pores. And then you get the Drink Up Intense Overnight Mask to quench skin's thirst. That's actually really cool because it's like a three-in-one product. Now that I can get behind. I have never heard of a mask primer, so that's kind of cool. Um... Honestly, guys, like for my first box, I'm so pleased that I actually like a lot of the stuff. Um, the lipstick and the lip pencil, not sure if those shades are going to work for me. Definitely not for the lip, but I love the product. I would love to get another Bite Beauty. Love this cologne here, and I absolutely love this rose, what's it called, in a bright brightening facial. And it does kind of look brightening on the skin, so super cool. Um, Briogeo, not so excited about, and I'm really kind of interested to try this whole mask primer. I keep saying I'm going to do some mask videos on this channel, um, so this might be a good one to start out with. But, um, let me just look at this thing really quick to see. So yeah, it shows you all of the products and stuff that you were going to get, and it just talks a little bit about the forces of nature, so what this month was about, and then... It really does give you 
like a complete look at what everything is supposed to be. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm really excited about that. I think it's really nice and I think they took their time to really think about what they were doing with this and I'm really surprised that this is a $10 box um, because I feel like a lot of these you know brands I recognize they are high-end so I for my first like month I am absolutely smitten with this I'm so excited about it and we got one two three four five six we got six products like that's I feel very very good about that for ten bucks high-end so let me know guys if you got this I think the boxes are all the same unlike ipsy right now where they've kind of customized and you can kind of you know change your profile this right now I think is just the same I don't think people get different things I could be wrong but I need to go back and watch some of my friends videos to kind of confirm that but I want to say so far it looks like everybody gets the same thing um, and I'm not complaining so let me know guys if you've joined it if you're going to what you think about the Sephora one for 10 bucks I I am a big fan right now so thanks guys for watching my very first unboxing next month you'll get to see me um, tell you a little bit about these products if I liked them and also the next um, month, which would be June unboxing. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.